Hi, my name is Lindsay Hayes. I'm a counselor and your only confidential resource at Mercy College. While other staff and faculty will provide support, please know they are required by law to report any incidents of sexual violence. If you speak with me, the information will stay behind closed doors. Sexual violence is not only rape, it includes sexual assault, domestic, dating violence, and stalking. In your future career in healthcare, do you feel that you will encounter patients who are victims of sexual violence? Of course you will. As you learned previously in this course, sexual assault isn't a rare occurrence. There are many reasons why a bystander may not intervene. Societal perceptions or norms have shaped our belief system. Think about this. What are your first thoughts when you see a scantily clad dressed woman? Some people may describe her as easy or that she's looking for a good time. We may not be as inclined to step in due to those perceptions. Another example is catcalling. Societal norms teach people to think it is simply a compliment and should be flattering to an individual. And what happened to the perpetrator's friends in the video? They disappeared very early on. Societal norms also cause us to think twice about stepping in and ruining someone's fun. Do you think a bystander has power? Let's think about this. Does a bystander have power if they step in and do something to alter the situation? Of course, they could ultimately save a life. At that point, what message are they sending and who are they sending it to? They are sending the message that what the perpetrator is doing is not right. Not only are they sending that to the perpetrator, they are sending it to the victim and the other bystanders around. On the flip side, does a bystander have power if they choose to do nothing? By choosing to do nothing, the message perceived is that the actions are okay. And who are they sending that to? Yes, they are sending that message to the perpetrator, the victim, and everyone else around. Whether they choose to act or not, bystanders hold a lot of power and can influence societal norms. How would you intervene? A bystander can have real impact by the actions they choose to take and can change the outcomes in a variety of situations, not just acts of sexual violence. If you had more information, would that influence your opinion? Would it matter to you if they knew each other or if they were in a relationship?